Well, it's World Continents Week and we are conditioning the core and the pelvic floor with Lisa Yates and Fiona Ross from Philafit today. We're going to look at how menopause can affect women in this way. Welcome to the show again. Thanks, yeah. Are, are women who face menopause likely to have pelvic floor problems well? Absolutely. I work as a continence practitioner, as a physiotherapist. That One of the main groups of women I see, obviously, are the pregnant and postnatal women. But then the other big group is actually women once they get to menopause. Now, the main reason for that is, is muscles tend to weaken when we reach menopause. And one of the factors behind that is that we have a decrease in estrogen in our tissues mm -hmm. and certainly in the in the tissues of the pelvis that means that they're less elastic which mm. contributes to leaking urine more like stress incontinence all those prolapse symptoms that we talked about um, the other thing is that muscles tend to weaken on the whole and often women gain a little bit of weight and get less active at that time and that can contribute you know the weight gain can contribute to pelvic floor problems as well so is it the same way that you address pelvic floor problems in a pregnant and postnatal woman as Absolutely. with a menopausal yeah. woman? Uh, menopausal women often are referred by their GP, so if they need any other therapies, any hormonal therapies, then the GP can contribute and help there. But absolutely, you can strengthen muscles at any age. Mm -hmm. Never too late. Never yeah. too late. That's good to hear. Because the pelvic <laughs> floor exercises are all about strengthening those muscles. So yeah, treatment is very similar. All right, well, shall we get into a bit of treatment? Absolutely. Yeah. Let's grab our balls this time. Okay. And we're actually going to sit and we're going to lie on our balls. See, have you? So feel like comfortable that. lying on your ball? Yes. You can have music, please. <laughs> All right. So just make sure your head and shoulders feel nice and comfortable on the ball. You can kind of use your arms for a little bit of balance as well. Now, you're not allowed to roll up and down the ball. All you're going to do, Sarah, is again just gently think about lifting that pelvic floor, and you're just going to drop the hips down towards the floor. And then you're just going to gently push the hips up. This is actually using all the same muscles as you would use in a squat. Drop those hips back down. Without it's a, it's a, the pressure. That's absolutely, yeah. And gently lift those hips up. So again, just gently drop the hips down, gently lift that pelvic floor. So you should feel nice and relaxed in your upper body. Gently lift and squeeze that butt at the top. And again, slowly release it down. Now, if you were in a gym, you could always add a little bit of a weight across your hips. And that would not strain you? And that wouldn't strain as long as you're feeling in control and you're able to still, still lift that pelvic floor. Just a slightly more advanced option. That's right. Let's try one more. How are you finding this, Sarah? Good. I, it's quite hard to balance, but I'm good. So as we, this time when you come down, I want you just to let your bottom come down to the floor. So it's probably the safest way to come off your ball. Put your hands on the floor and come all the way down. Look at that, lovely and gradual. <laughs> come and grab your bands. So we're going to work our outside butt muscles and our pelvic floor and our core muscles. So pop, stand on the band, tuck your thumbs underneath. Um, underneath the handles and turn your toes slightly out. We're going to travel to the side. So keep your chest nice and tall. Make sure you're breathing and make sure your toes are slightly out to get those outside butt muscles working. Travel the other way. Excellent. Are you breathing? Give me two more on this side and let's hold it here. We're going to come back to that squat, Sarah. Yes. So let's take to, let's go down in two for that squat. And then we're going to turn towards you, Sarah, and squat out the other way. Down in two. Keep hold of your bands. Come back towards me. Down in two. Excellent. So remember to lift that pelvic floor. We're going to go towards Lisa this time. Coming down for two. Lovely. Coming back to the center. Down for two. Remember that pelvic floor. Remember you're breathing towards Sarah this time. Excellent. Down, so remember, push your butt back. That's better. That's lovely. And come back to the center. Down in two. So your butt goes back as though you're trying to sit on a seat towards Lisa. Down in two. We've got one more. Come back to the center. Toes slightly out. And let's hold it at the top and let's do our funny little walk. So remember, shoulders back, knees nice and soft. Toes slightly out and breathing. I keep stop. I keep forgetting to breathe. It Breathing's is, it's, really important. Yep. And let's go the other way. 
Excellent. If you don't breathe, your pelvic floor won't work as well. This is Katy Perry. This is Katy Perry. And so travel back. <laughs> yeah, we're with the kids. <laughs> Young at any age, remember? That's right. Let's hold it here. Give me one more squat. Nice and slow. Push that butt back. Excellent. And slowly bring it back up. Wonderful. So one more day to go. Ladies, great to have you here today. And we'll look forward to tomorrow. And for more information on Philly Fit, please see our website, tvnz.co.nz slash good morning.